Here in La Rioja, they've been making wine for a millennium. The region produces around 280 million liters of it every year. That's a huge amount, but demand still outstrips supply. The start of the harvest season each September is a cause for great celebration in the provincial capital, Logroño. Men stomp grapes with their bare feet in a wine barrel, like they did in the olden days. I've known this festival since I was a child. It's one for the entire family. The Fiesta de San Mateo may be named after St. Matthew, but it's a holy woman who grabs the limelight. This festival is important because we're celebrating the Rioja harvest. Here, the first wine is offered to La Rioja's patron saint, the Virgin of Vavanera. Calle de Laurel is famous for its tapas bars. Here, everyone drinks Rioja. Other wines don't stand a chance. The dry red wine goes well with snacks made from ham or cheese. Every year, the festival draws scores of tourists to Logroño. The city, with its 16th century cathedral, lies on the Ebro River. Right on the riverbank is the Franco Española's winery. Here, visitors can taste the Rioja and discover how it's produced. Writer Ernest Hemingway once paid the winery a visit. Patricia Diaz explains why viniculture developed here in the Ebro Valley in northern Spain. It's because here two opposing climate zones meet, the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. During the day, temperatures are high, but at night it cools off, which is good for the grapes. And then we have special soil, acidic soil with lots of chalky clay and iron, but also alluvial soil. They've been producing wine from the Rioja Alta, the upper Rioja region, here since 1890. The name Rioja comes from the Rio Oja, a river which flows into the Ebro. The grape harvest also starts in September, around the town of Haro and the village of Briones. White grapes are cultivated here as well as red ones. The most popular variety of black grape here is Tempranillo. This region boasts some 1,200 vineyards. Miguel de Ramirez lives and works here. En el suelo. You have to sort the grapes and thin out the clusters so that the vines can develop better. It's a question of quality. At the Muga winery, they season the oak barrels by toasting them. This adds character to the wine as it ages. The wine is required by law to remain in a barrel for at least one year. Here at the winery, they leave it for at least two years. Wines designated as Gran Reserva age for three years and then ferment for another one or two years in bottles. Winery manager Jesus Figuera checks the aroma of a red wine from the Graciano variety. Every four months, the wine is decanted into another barrel, and we make sure that it's aging well. We filter out residues and particles of grape skin or seeds that are still in the wine. Of the Rioja produced in the region, 85% is red wine and 15% white or rosé. These wines are consumed the world over. The best way to drink Rioja is with a good friend. Rioja is a full-bodied wine with a long tradition, and it's a financial boon for the province that shares its name.